Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field for Interleague Boys Soccer. Lynn Tech, entertaining Saugus. Tech from the Commonwealth Conference League. Saugus from the Northeastern Le Conference League. They're kind of strung together now. They just played a football game on Saturday. They just played a volleyball game on Friday. So Tech dipping into the Northeastern Conference to get some games on their schedule. Guillermo. So Pulvada, the head coach for Saugus, Eric Moreno, ably assisted by his daughter, Brianna Moreno. It's like a family reunion. Young Eric is the coach of Link Classical. So soccer is in the family, that's for sure. Saugus in the white, Tech in the red, white, and blue, and we apologize right off the bat because it's going to be extremely difficult to pick up the Link Tech numbers. They blend into the back of the shirt. We're getting ready. Uh, everybody's getting a little bit antsy. Saugus was late getting here. 345 game is starting at 430. And now there's a question about the Nets. And we had a problem to begin with. The DPW guy who was supposed to put the nets down, I, I think it's his first day because I said, you didn't put the nets down. He went and put the field hockey nets down. And I said, no, the soccer nets. I told the officials to check to make sure they were okay. They said they would. Now they finally put them straightened out, the one that Tech will be shooting at. And they're checking the one now that Saugus will be shooting at. William Martinez is in net for Lintec. Massimo Pagliocco in net for Saugus. And eventually we're going to get this game started. I think. And we're underway. Saugus looking for their first win. Tech looking to go 5 1 and 1. They had a very tough loss against St. Mary's. They were losing 1 to nothing at halftime in the championship final of the city series and thunder, lightning and rain came and they canceled the rest of the game and the MIA said a half constitutes a game and Tech is still, <laughs> I think they're still questioning that, they're still trying to get that off their record. They know they can't finish the game but they want to just wipe it out as no contest. Ortega will put it back in play again for Saugus. And bounce off Ortega and goes out of bounds. Tech will get the throw in. They knock it deep, they let it go back to Martinez and he'll kick it away. Long day again here at I mean, that's why it's tough to get off on the wrong foot half hour late, almost almost an hour late. There's another soccer game, Lintech girls play next, and then there's a field hockey game. And the only reason I knew there was a field hockey game, the parents were from Ipswich coming to watch St. Mary's and Ipswich playing field hockey here at Manning Field. They got distressed when they found out the game was 7.15. They'll be even more distressed when they find out the game isn't going to start until almost 8 o'clock. <laughs> Early moments of this first half. Martinez with it and boots it upfield. 
Hawks so are looking to get possession. They take the shot, and he knocked it dead center, but high over the net and out of play. And once again here at Frazier Field, it's overcast and rainy and cold. All of a sudden, we've dipped into the 50s after having all those 90-day weather. So not an easy day to sit out. And we only have a few fans at that. Tech just can't get going. It's been near end most of this, the early moments of this first half. And it was taken away by Sesco, but he knocked it out of bounds. And it would be Buck Watner. Buck Watwena. Try to say that five times fast. Put it in play for Tech. Blocked. Tech upfield. Saugus breaks it up. Everybody trying to get a piece of it. Pops straight up in the air again. Still nobody with possession. Bouncing around. Uh, went out. Tech finally gets it, and they knock it deep. They're on side, and the defense does a nice job. Sorocco got there just before they had the breakaway. And he reached in, got a foot on it, and knocked it away. And I'm looking out now, and a big... Minus on the Lintec team out in the field is Grigori Amici. He's not out there. He's their big scorer. He sat out the latter part of the last game. I think it was an ankle or a foot. And now he's I don't even know if he's on the bench. He, I know he's not on the field. And that's a big minus for Tech. A few loyal fans with their umbrellas up, getting interested in this one. So I guess he's got a couple of shots on, but they haven't got anything on net. Everything has been over the net. Tech hasn't really got into Saga's territory yet. The one time they looked like they had a break, Saugus from behind tipped it to the goaltender and they broke it up. Tech for the break, they keep it in. Trying to get around, looking to walk in. They take the shot from long range, it got blocked. That was the Oliveira with the shot. Tech takes it away. And the center of it, Fogg's defense knocks it away. And they knock it away again. It's going to go out into the tech bench area out of play. August takes it away again. And here's the defense. Uh, it might be Pojoy knocking that away. And it goes out off Saugus. Went out off Oliveira. And Bakwat Wiener puts it back in play again. To Oliveira. Taking it to the middle, looking to kick the shot. Just Perfect shot by all the Oliveira was going under the top crossbar inside the far post. And Pagliarca just reached up and got a hand on it and knocked it away. 
big time save, great shot by De Oliveira. That's the first legitimate shot by either team. He was that close to putting Tech on top in this for first seven minute plus. Hoggers heads it away. And how they pop it back. Down the far side. And he pushed it too far ahead. It's going to go out of play. They had a pass play set up. They put too much mustard on, on the pass. It went out of play. And Paglioco. We'll kick it away. Sorgas collects. Down the far side. And Tank is there to break it up. Sorgas will get the throw in. Knocks it out again. <laughs> Trying to center it. Tech clears it away. And it's going to go out off Tech. So that one shot by o the Oliveira is the only threat that Tech had. Otherwise, it's been in their end. Saga still hasn't challenged Martinez yet. And Saga knocks it out. I'll put it in play right in front of the Tech bench area. And it gets knocked back into the tech bench. Ten minutes into this first half, no score. Tech and Saugus. Tech trying to make it one and one for Tech here at Manning Field. Saugus football in that battle of the unbeatens, Saugus and Tech. Saugus got the win over Tech here at Manning. So the Tech soccer team would like to try and even the score. They break it loose. Saugus takes it away. Coming down the near side. Bodies go down. There's two Saugus players down. They knock it deep, looking for the foot race. The defense gets there first and knocks it away. And it just got saved by the goaltender. Otherwise, Tech was going to get a corner kick. Saugus knocks it deep. Martinez was out almost to the 20-yard line, the goaltender. Watching what was going on upfield, he held it, waiting for someone to challenge him. Now he picks it up and he'll kick it away. Now he just throws it over to Poljoy. And he knocks it across field. Back to Poljoy. <laughs> Trying to knock it deep, Saugus knocks it back. Head it to the middle. Sargas gets a piece and knocks it out of play. So back and forth we go. 
the only real threat, that shot by Felipe de Oliveira. Otherwise, it's just been trying to get control, trying to move it around. Trying to get it upfield, they have to knock it back to Poljoy. Popped up. Nobody's got it. There was a. They're going to call contact against Oliveira. A little bit of a hip check to D. Oliveira. I guess Poljoy kicking it away from just inside midfield. And we got a whistle for some reason. Now I see the reason is the Saugus player sitting down. And I can't tell you who he is because they gave me a roster, but there's no 32. I would be guessing if I said Javier Oliver because he's the one on the roster that there's no number. So it could be him. So the kick coming from just inside midfield on the tech end. As he, he's walking out gingerly, he seems to be okay, walking under his own steam. So it's good to see. They boot it high. Saugus collects and knocks it back. And with a rush, they take it away. Down the far side, looking for the shot. Big time save by Martinez. That was Nicholas T. Oliveira. So both T. Oliveiras, one from Saugus, one from Tech, have both got ripping shots on net, and both goaltenders made terrific saves. Martinez made a great save. Just inside the 10 yard line, he was wide open for the shot, ripped it, and Martinez made the big time save. And that's kind of eerie when both teams have a D. Oliveira and the other two, both D. Oliveiras get the shots on net. So I guess with the throw in down deep. And the official was talking to somebody, I'm not sure who, whether it was the tech coach or not. They finally throw it in. Tech knocks it out. And they knock it out of play. And we'll do it again. 15 minutes into the scoreless first half. So I'm just trying to center it. Get broken up. Made cleared away nicely by the defense. And Tech finally gets it away from the net. They knock it deep. The Oliveira's pass blocked. One of the big weapons that Tech has is that long lead pass to Gregorio Amici, and that's among the missing here today because Amici is not playing. Saugus breaks it up. Slips through everybody. Saugus will clear it away. And Borgia will give it back to Martinez. And he boots it upfield.
down that far side. And they knock it too deep. Yes, they did. It goes out of play. Paglioco will kick it away. Yes, it's a midfield and beyond. Knock loose. And Tech knocks it upfield. Saga so slides and takes it away nicely. And then Poljoy takes it back. Saugus knocks it all the way back to their end. Tech picks it off. Saugus gets there first. Just saved it before it went out. Tech knocks it up. And Tech heads it into the Saugus bench area. Saugus will make a substitution. Broken up. And so I guess gets broken up and take they take T the Oliveira down. And Tech will get the free kick coming from just about the thirty yard line. They put it right at the thirty yard line. A little bit of an angle to the far side. You can certainly reach the net from here. Popped up out in front. So I get Tech got a piece of it just as they were. I think it was the Oliveira again. He lined up the shot just as he was taking it. The defense got a piece and deflected it out. He was going to hit a line shot right at the goaltender, possibly in the net. Defense got a piece, knocked it wide. Tackle got a corner kick from the far side. First corner kick for either team. Out in front, headed away by Saugus. I think that was Sirocco. They knock it upfield. They take it right back to the tech end. Sliding and knocking out was Bach Watwena. Blocked by tech. Saugus gets there first. They kick it back to Pagliaco. And he'll take it upfield. Blocked by Tech. And Saugus knocks it out. They're trying to lead De Oliveira. Knocked it deep, good defense. That might have been Zavala. Or oh, De Leon. Sagas picks it off. 
goes right by everybody. Saugus collects down the far side, tipping it ahead. There was nobody there. He was waiting for one of the Saugus players. A little give and go, but it was, all it was was a give. The player didn't get there to receive the pass. Tech looking to walk in. It's loose. Coming out. Just getting there ahead of Tech was Pagliocco. He just got up. There was a Tech player looking to get a foot on it from just the left side, looking to bang it home. Pagliocco just got a piece of it and knocked it away. We'll have a substitution for Saugus as it's headed out by Tech. Now they're saying it headed out by Saugus. They knock it deep. Saugus is going to get there and keep it in. Knocking it out in front. Poljoy got a head on it. And Tech will clear it away. Poljoy knocks it deep. That's what they like to do, hit that long lead pass. But normally it's for Amishi. As we mentioned, Amishi's not here. Saugus looking to walk in. Broken up. I think that was Paul Joy. Tech breaks it up and takes it away. Off a of foot. Long lead. They're going to let it go out of play. A lot of substitution for Tech. Fifteen minutes and counting left in this scoreless first half as Sargis makes another substitution. Martinez in that for Tech had one big save. Uh, Pagliacco for Sargas had two big saves. And now we got a Lim Tech player. I can make out the number. I think I think it's Alan Barrios. He's under his own steam, walking with the trainer, but seems to be okay. I'll take him to the side. I'm sure he'll be back. It's deflected, so I guess picks it off. Down the near side. Throwing it to the middle. So I guess is there. And they knock it home. Nice pass. It was a little bit of a scrum out in front. And so I was just able to tip it by Martinez. All that pressure, keeping it in the end. And I think it was Ortega with the, with the goal. And they almost got two. 
They gave him the shot again. Actually, I think it was Ramirez. I thought it was number eight, but I think it's number three. Initially, I thought initially I thought it was number eight. We had to check to make sure it was Brian Ortiz Ramirez with the goal. And it was Nicholas de Oliveira who made the nice pass across that set him up. So all that pressure paid off. They've been keeping it most of the time in the tech end. And it paid off. Knocked out right in front of the tech bench. I'm not sure what the whistle's for. Now, now I do. There's a Sardis player way upfield, and a tech trainer. Called on again to help out. So they replace him, and we'll get back to so to soccer fairly quick. But that second shot, and it was they set up Ramirez again, and he ripped it from just outside the ten yard line. Looked like he might get his second, but it just went wide right. Tech will put it in play. And once again, Sog is taking it back the other way. They knock it deep. Martinez will come out and play it. Is have a lot of trouble turning over offense. And his Sargas kicking it, knocking it out. Tech will block the defender, let it go out so they get a corner kick. Coming from the far side, they had one of these before. Final 10 minutes, a tough goal for Tech to give up, giving Sargas the one nothing lead. They drill it out in front, and it goes out again. And I think it was the goaltender, Pagliacco, who reached up and got a hand on it and just whacked it out. So we'll try it again from the far side, the corner kick. Everybody in front of the net, high in the air. Tech got a piece of it, but it bounced high. They couldn't get a shot off. So I guess fighting to keep it in. It went out. And back, what winner? 
We'll throw it in as Tech will make a substitution. Tough day for everybody. There's a few fans here on early start on a Monday. A lot of umbrellas up. The rain is, hasn't been as rigid as they thought it might be, but it's just enough to be a pain in the neck. Picking up speed every, every so often. Tech got a foot on it and ripped it high and wide and out of play. That might have been De Leon. Again, almost impossible to pick up the Lintec numbers. They blend in right in the back. You just can't tell them. Even when they're right down in front of you, it's very difficult. Pagliacco kicks it away. Tech trying to keep it in the Saugus end. And Saugus knocks it away from De Oliveira. Saugus keeps it in. Parties go down, no call. They're letting them play a little bit. Now there was a late whistle. They went down, they kicked the ball upfield. I thought they were going to let them play. But they did blow the whistle. They called it. And they called it. It could have gone either way. They called it against Tech. So I guess we'll get the free kick from the 40 yard line. And we got a Saugus player down, I think. He's just sitting there. Trainer hasn't come out. The official is standing over the play. He just I'm not sure what's going on. Now he's up. I guess he's okay. Trying to run off that left ankle or left foot. He was just sitting there for a while. And they blew the whistle late. The play came. They kicked the ball upfield. They were about to make the second kick. And he blew the whistle for the contact. Tech trying to knock it deep. He'll knock it back to the goaltender and he'll kick it away. That's the play they like to send Amici in. He gets a lot of goals off a play like that. So again, a big minus for Tech not to have Amici in the lineup. And the rain is starting to pick up a little bit. Trying to center it. Tech got a foot on it, but knocked it the other way. They got a foot on it to take the shot. That might have been De Leon. He lined up the line shot, knocked it right into the defense. Tech came that close. They let it go out. They'll take the throw in right in front of the Saugus bench area. To the net, they let it go through to Paglionco and he'll kick it away. Song just knocks it out. Bounces over, check out in front. Saugus takes it back the other way. Picked off.
Sargas takes it back. They knock it deep, looking for a break. Martinez just gets out there, and he got there first. Just able to kick it away. It was a foot race. Martinez coming out, and it was Ortega going to the net, and Martinez just got a foot out. They try to slide it in front. The defense knocked it away. Shot. Going to go wide right. Didn't get a lot on it. Just kind of pooched it. Song is out in front. Bodies go down. Ramirez is saying, I, I got knocked down. How come no call? They're calling some. They're letting some go. Bounces right over the head of Florex. And now they knock Paul Joy down. He's wondering what's going on. To give it to De Oliveira to throw, take the throw, and it'll be after substitutions for Sargas. They knock it to the net. I wide. Off to the right, off to the foot of De Oliveira. Heck, trying to get out of their own end. They finally get it upfield. Deep down the far side, Sargas breaks it up. Final two minutes, time will be kept down on the field now with the officials. Blocked by Sargas. The Oliveira trying to get loose, can't. Uh, gets knocked out by Saugus. So one nothing Saugus as we're winding down this first half. Popped up out in front. That keeps it in. Keeping it in. Can't get the shot off. They save it, come up with it, give it all the way back. Skips pass, goes out off Saugus. Tech getting a hurry up in this step with the clock winding down. To the middle. De Oliveira knocked it down. I, he did a great job. He went up in the air, got his shoulder on it, knocked it down. He went, it was almost waist high. He banged it to the net. It was going under the top crossbar inside the near post. And Pagliarco robbed him again. That's twice that Pagliarco has stoned Felipe De Oliveira. Two great try. That was a great try by Oliveira. Had to knock it down. Had to get the foot up almost waist high to get it on net. And he got it 
under the top crossbar, and Pagliarca just made that great save. That would have been a great goal to tie it up with virtually no time left as the whistle blows. So the Oliveira gets robbed twice. But the difference, Brian Ortiz Ramirez was able to knock it home for Saugus, and that's the difference. It's Saugus 1, Lintec nothing at halftime. Still 1 nothing Saugus. And we got contact. I think they're calling it against Miranda of Saugus. They knock it deep, and they'll let Pagliarco, the three defenders made a little fence around Pagliarco, let him get the ball and kick it away. Saugus really had control in that first half. They were now, they almost let it go again. Pagliarco had to dive and, and grab it. The, it was like, I'll get it, no, you get it. And they almost had Tech get it. But Saugus kind of kept Tech bottling up. Two big shots by De Oliveira, but other than that, they didn't come very close. And they didn't have the ball in the Saugus end that much to get very good shots off. So they've got to pick it up here in the second half. They swung and missed at that would be pass. They pop it straight up in the air. High bounce. Tip. Tech is going to come down with it. And get knocked out by Saugus. De Leon will put it in play. And we're going to whistle for, for something. Oh, now I see it. There's a tech player down at the 20 yard line. Saugus so helps him up. He seems to be okay. Walking out under his own steam. De Leon will take the throw in. Loose. Saugus will kick it away. Blocked. Tech keeps it in. They take the shot. They knocked it over the net. That might have been Barrios. Defender got him a little bit of a bump, but he still had the ball, and he tried it maybe a little too quick to get it off, and he got a little too much foot, drilled it over the net. Tech came that close to tying the game up. And now... Saugus almost had a break. Tech breaks it up, knocks it back the other way. Knocking it to the near side. Pushing it up. Blocked and taken away by Tech. And they almost gave it away. Now they do give it away. Tip back to Oliveira looking for it. The Oliveira looking for it again. Didn't quite get there before Pagliarco. Wasn't from lack of effort that the Oliveira didn't get there. Pagliarco just beat him to the ball. Saugus almost gave one away.
trying to center it off the foot of Marquez. Tech pops it up, pops it up again to the net. Now they clear it away. Down the near side, the Oliver again, he's getting a workout. He took it away. Walking in, he throws it across. They missed it. De Oliveira threw it across. They were wide open with a wide open net. And he fanned on the kick and then kicked it behind the net. You could never be more open than Tech was. De Oliveira battled hard, took the ball away, walked in, threw it across. The goalie was out of the net. They had the entire net to shoot at. They were right in front of the net. They lost control of the ball, and then they knocked it out of play. Tech knocks it home. It popped out. That's De Leon. They missed the shot from dead center a foot away from the net. It bounced out, and from right around the 10-yard line, De Leon ripped it under the top crossbar inside the, the far post, and Tech has tied it up at one. So it was Tech putting all the pressure on here in the first five-plus minutes, and it paid off. And they're back in the game at one-to-one. -one. And that came... Just seconds after they missed that wide open net. You dream about shots like that. Standing one foot in front of the net with the goalie out. And all you have to do is say thank you and just tip it home. Tech coming right back. Let's see if this that goal gives them a momentum push. De Oliveira trying to give it back. And Songus will let it go out. They'll give it back. Martinez kicks it away. They knock it deep, and they knock it too deep. As long as it was going to let it go out of play, but now they tip it to Pagliacco, and he'll kick it away anyway. Tech got a head on it, but they're going to call Tech for pushing. They're both going up, both trying to get the ball. Tech got the head on it, but they pushed off doing it. And Saugus brings it back. Saugus breaks it up. Trying to center it. Martinez slid across. He grabbed it, bobbled it, and then grabbed it just before Ramirez, who was sitting on the doorstep, was looking to get a foot on it. If that ball pops another foot out in front, Ramirez is going to have a wide open shot. Good job by Martinez. Down the far side, here's De Oliveira again. Saugus got there first and knocked it out. We mentioned Saugus trying to avenge a loss to Saugus in football on Saturday, this being Monday. De Oliveira trying to center it, got a foot on it. Knocked it out, and Saugus player went down. And the trainer, full attack, has to come back out again. Just over eight minutes played in this second half. 
Saugus got the goal in the first half off the foot of Brian Ortiz Ramirez. Felipe de Oliveira for Tech had two outstanding shots that the goalie, Massimo Pagliacco, made two great saves on and stoned them both times to keep it one nothing at halftime. And then early on here, after a scrum out in front, the ball popped loose, and it was Jose de Leon coming in from his defensive end and ripping it under the top cross by the time the game up at one. So again, the player walking out under his own steam seems to be okay. And Saugus kicks it out, and now it gets deflected out off tech. Out off. Tech it ahead of it, but they were standing out of bounds when they, it was already out. So they called it off Saugus. Tip it to the middle. It got knocked away from, from De Oliveira and gets knocked out of play. De Leon will put it back in play again. Pushing it ahead, and Saugus knocks it out. De Leon will put it back in play again, a little further down. A lot further down. And he off again. They went back up to Zavala. Holjoy knocks it deep, gets popped straight up in the air. Jack battling to take it away. Bodies go down, they let them play, they wrap each other up. They're calling some, they're not calling others. They wrapped each other up. One went down, no call. Tech comes away with it in the middle. They give it to the near side. The Oliveira looking to walk in. They take the shot from long range. Great save, and they knock it home. The save was made. The rebound was there, and Tech knocked it home. Saul Mejia. Was Saul on the spot? So, I think it was De Oliveira that made the shot. Pagliacco made the save. He let the rebound bounce out in front. He was down after making the save, and Mejia was right there. He had a wide open net, and he took advantage. And St. Mary's has scored, excuse me, St. Mary's, like too many games, too many runs together. Flynn Tech gives Saugus a 1 0 lead, and they score two in a row to make it 2 to 1. We got girls' soccer teams warming up behind the nets. They got here a lot earlier because this game started almost an hour late. And there's a field hockey game after this that will start a whole lot later.
So I'm just going to get a corner kick. I think this is their first corner kick coming from the far side. They land drive it out in front. It actually hit the post. It hit the post and didn't go out. It hit the post and went right back in the direction of the kicker. And Tech was able to clear it away. Now De Oliveira out in front. Gets a foot on it. Pagliarca robs him again. Three times. De Oliveira has blasted it. And three times Pagliarca has blocked him. They were looking for a takedown for the Tech player. It might have been in the zone for a penalty kick, but they didn't get it. But D. Oliveira hustling, he's had a great game. He won't show up on the scoreboard, but he's had a great game. He's had three times that he got stuffed, and they called Tech offside. The lights have been on here for a while here at Manning Field. And it's going to be a long night. And we got another Saugus player down at the 45 yard line. And he's getting up and walking away. I'm sorry. And now he's running away. And. What bothers me the most is that I think they watch too much of the pros, even in basketball now, the flopping that goes on. You know, I mean, these, they go down like they're shot from a gun. They're never going to get up. And then like this young man, he gets up and runs to the sideline. So it's hard to understand whether they're really hurt or not. You don't want to see anybody get hurt. But sometimes they go down just to see if they can get the call. We're glad he's okay, and now the tech player goes down, but he gets right back up. They knock it deep, down the near side. Tech looking to get there first. Saugus slides, and they just got a piece and knocked it out. I think that was Marquez. And Tech will get a corner kick. So change a little bit here in the second half. It's Tech is more the aggressor here in the early moments of the second half. These first 15 minutes, they headed away, but they blew the whistle for some reason. And they're going to do it over again. Tech got a head on it, but they knocked it the wrong way. Now they try to kick it back. Saugus blocks it. Tech keeps it alive. Shot blocked out in front. Blocked again. Saugus will clear it away. De Leon knocks it loose. Pozoy kicks it upfield. They knock it deep down the far side. Agliarca will get there. That might have been Barrios. Song is coming back, blocked nicely by the defense. That might have been Zavala. Shot. Martinez will make the save. Belt high. And he'll kick it away. I'm wondering if... They, we, they don't let us know at all if there's a change. De Oliveira, being the defense, walking in. He's stoned again. Do you believe this? Four times... He walked in alone again. He drilled it. Big block, and the defense knocks it away. 
Ramirez looking for his second goal. It got blocked. It was loose, going to go in. The defender came over and blocked it and got run over by Ramirez. And the defender is down. He's sitting up, at least. But that was, Ramirez came that close to tying the game up. He walked in, drilled it. The goaltender made a, Martinez made a big time save. It popped by him. And just as Ramirez was going to get his foot and knock it in the open net, it was the defender coming over and getting a foot on it and knocking it away. And we're happy that he's up and walking to the sideline. Could have been Zavala. Could have been Guillen. As I mentioned, impossible to pick up the tech numbers, especially from a distance. They got a foot on it and knocked it off the post. The corner kick. Saugus got a foot on it and knocked it off the post and out. We've had all kinds of close scoring opportunities for both teams, especially Oliveira four times. I think that was Miranda. Actually, I think it was Martinez. I thought it was 19, but I think it was 29. They knock it deep. It looked like Ramirez was offside. He knocks it behind the net out of play. But the Oliveira, hard to believe, four times he's been point blank with the goaltender and four times he got stoned by Pagliarca. And that last one, the, the corner kick, it comes out. And it was Martinez got a foot on it, knocked it to the net, and it hit the post and bounced out. It was that close from going in. Heck with it. Nice thing. A little takeaway by Saugus. They knock it deep. And Pagliarco will come out, clear it away. Saugus pass picked off. Tip and Broken up again. Back and forth we go. Everybody trying to complete passes. Everybody taking it away, getting it back. Saugus so finally takes it away and clears it upfield. So push behind. They knock it deep. The Oliveira get near, keep it in. He tried to tip it around the defense and go get it. He knocked it out of play. Halfway through and counting the second half, Tech has come back from a one nothing deficit to get two here in the first half of the second half. And they grab a 2-1 to one lead. Looking for the fifth win of the season. 
Knock it deep. Saugus. Down the far side. Trying to throw it in front. Martinez blocks it. Picks it up. And almost gave it away. Went almost too long to pick it up. Saugus takes it away. Shot goes all the way through. Ramirez was breaking, but he couldn't get there in time to get a piece of that pass. It went through, and Martinez will throw it upfield. Try to knock it deep. Now they knock it deep. Oliveira. Out again. Can he get there? He tipped it by, but Tech couldn't get control. Another foot race with De Oliveira and Tagliaca. Substitutions for both teams. De Leon will take the throw in. And the ring has picked up quite a bit. Couldn't get the shot off. They couldn't get control of the ball. It was bouncing. Now they bang it towards the net. It's loose in front. Blocked. And the only shirt out in front was a white shirt to clear it away. Pagliarca blocked it, couldn't get control of it. It laid out in front of the net, and the defender for Sargas, I think it was Giron or Garon, was the only one there, and he kicked it away. So again, it was loose right in front of the net. Tech couldn't get control of it. Popped up, Tech keeping it down deep, still with it, still with it, trying to throw it in front. Now they drip it. It looked like it was going to go off the side of the net, not go in the net. But Pagliarco wasn't sure. He dove, got a piece of it, knocked it out, and Tech is the beneficiary. They're going to get a corner kick coming from the far side. It knocked away. Tech pops it back up in front. Loose out in front. Everybody getting a foot on it. Got blocked out in front. And Tech will knock it out. So a lot of commotion out in front, but nobody could get their foot on it. And so Pagliarco will get to kick it away. Tech again, keeping it in. Bodies go down. Let's see who they call it. They're going to call it on Saugus. Tech will get the free kick. Totally different half than the first one. Saugus had more control than Tech, especially in the Tech end. Now it's been Tech keeping it in the Saugus end. They haven't really tested Martinez in this second half. From just outside the 25-yard line, a little bit of an angle. It got tipped. I thought it got, I thought so I got a piece of it, but they're calling it just a hook and wide left. With it. Saugus boots it away. 
Tech trying to keep it in. Knocked out by Saugus. High in the air. Bodies go down. They're letting him play again. Martinez got knocked down. He was sitting on the turf, just threw his hands up like, why no call? So they're calling some, they're not calling others. They knock it deep. And they're going to get Tech. It's going to go out anyway, but they're going to get Tech for a little bit of a push trying to get there first. I think that was Mejia with a little bit of a touch. Headed back. Keeping it in the Saugus end. They knock it all the way back to Pagliocco. Skipped past Tech. And they threw it behind the intended receiver, who was Oliver. And Tech knocks it out as bodies go down. Marquez will throw it in again. And it goes out on um, Saugus. All of a substitution for Tech. We haven't had any timeouts in this game because it sounded almost an hour late. So they probably want to, they know this game's afterwards. Tech throws it up. And Tech brings it up. Back in the Saugus end. Pass. Picked off. Blocked. And it's going to go out off Tech. Pass a little bit too far ahead. Tech able to break it up. Fargus trying to knock it deep. Tech knocks it back the other way. It's Tech keeping Saugus blocked up. It's, it's Saugus now that can't really get anything going offensively. It was totally different in the first half. They sneak the pass through to the middle. Saugus breaks it up. They knock it deep to Ramirez. Tech breaks it up and clears it upfield. Nice job. That was Paul Joy, I think. He not only took it away, but right along the end line, he didn't let it go out. Shot from long range, goes wide right and out of play. And we'll have a substitution for Tech. I think that was Panetta with that shot that went wide right. Paul Joey will kick it away. And he kicks it deep to midfield. It skips past. Oliveri looking for it. He gets taken down. No call. And another takedown. Nice little hip check by Oliveira. That took De Leon down, I think it was.
might have been Guyen. Again, had to pick up the numbers. Ten minutes and counting. In this game, two to one, Tech getting two in a row, wiping out a one nothing deficit. Again, looking to even the score against Saugus, who beat them in football here. Saugus and Tech were both 2-0 and coming into the football game. Something that hasn't happened in a very long time. In fact, the Saugus football team is now 3-0. and They only won one game last year. They get it to the middle. Tipped up. Tech breaks it up. Popped high, wide, and out of play. That went almost out in the street behind the stands on the other side. So a game of two halves. Saugus held served in the first half, got that one nothing lead at the end of the half. Tech has come out. Firstly, shut them down here. They got a couple of shots, but they haven't put them on net. They knocked them over the net, wide of the net. And we got a whistle because it went out of play. So they haven't really generated any offense. Tech has kept it in the Saugus end most of the time, resulting in two goals and resulting in a two-to-one lead. And Tech breaks it up. Targus gets it back. And Tech knocks it out. The throw goes harmlessly out of bounds. Paul Joy will kick it away. And he kicks it high and deep past midfield. De Oliveira got a head on it, and he was getting bumped by the defense as he got a head on it. And Tech will get the kick from around the 45-yard line. Davis and De Oliveira looking to get a header, and they call it on Davis. And Paul Joy will get to kick it away. Drills it towards the net, headed away by Saugus. And Tech knocks it out. Tech will track it down. Couldn't get a shot off because we're blowing away from the net. Saugus took it away. And Tech breaks it up. Saugus gets it back. Shot from long range is going to go way wide right. Off the foot of Panetta. Coming back, Tech broken up. De Oliveira tips it ahead. And here's Davis knocking it wide and out of play. The crowd has picked up quite a bit on a rainy Monday night. Tech trying to kick it to the net. They kicked it high and wide, way to the far side. And they're looking to get control of it. And Saugus knocks it out. (coughs) 
We're in the final five minutes. The clock will stop, and the time will be kept down on the field. And now the clock is the enemy for Saugus. Tech takes it away and keeps it in. Shot. Goes wide left and out of play. Tech got a head on it, and they keep it in the Saugus end. They got another head on it, a few heads. They knock it to the middle, and they got it where they want it, in the Saugus end with a two-to-one lead. A little behind the back pass. Tipping it ahead. The Oliveira throws it out in front, and it went by everybody. The Tech player slipped and fell. Great try by D. Oliveira again. He's having a great game. He hasn't scored, but it's not his fault. Four times he's been stoned by Paglianco. He, he's thrown two great passes across. One, the player was in front of the net. Nobody in net all by himself. Couldn't get control of the ball. When he finally did, he knocked it wide right. When all he had to do was knock it in the open net. Saugus knocks it upfield. He made that great pass there across there to Oliveira, but the tech player actually slid and was down and didn't have any chance of getting the ball. Now the ball goes out and it goes out off Panetta. So time winding down in this one. De Oliveira tips it by, looking to go get it, looking to walk in again. Walks in. It got blocked, and Tech knocked it in. De Oliveira with a great run again. The goaltender blocked it. It b popped across, and Tech was there with the open net to knock it home. They blow the whistle and that's going to be it.